Exercise 9. Target Company issues bonds with a par value of $800,000 on their stated issue date. The bonds mature in five years and pay 10% annual interest in semi-annual payments. On the issue date, the annual market rate for the bonds is 12%. Now it's important here to predict what's going to happen with this bond. We know that there's an inverse relationship between the market rate and the selling price. When the market rate is higher than the contract rate, the selling price will be lower. We expect this bond to sell at a discount. But let's go through and do the calculations. What's the amount of each semi-annual interest payment for these bonds? The semi-annual interest payment is based on the stated rate, the contract rate, $800,000 multiplied by 10% is $80,000 divided by 2 is $40,000. How many semi-annual interest payments will be made on these bonds over their life? There will be two payments per year for five years, a total of ten semi-annual payments of $40,000. Requirement 3 asks us to use the interest rates given to determine whether the bonds are issued at a premium or a discount. Well, we already answered that question. There's an inverse relationship between the market rate and the selling price. Since the market rate is higher, the selling price will be lower. These bonds will sell at a discount. Number four, compute the price of the bonds as of their issue date, and we're to use the present value tables. The repayment schedule for this bond is in two components. We know that there will be a lump sum payment of the par at the maturity date, $800,000, and there will also be a series of equal payments spread out evenly over time, the interest payments, 10 payments of $40,000. Whenever you have a series of equal payments spread out evenly over time, it's called an annuity. These amounts are future cash flows. To calculate the selling price of the bonds, we need to convert these amounts to their present value using the present value charts. There's a single payment of $800,000, so we use the present value of a single sum chart. We go to the intersection of the semi-annual market rate, 6%, and the total number of payments, 10 and we see the factor of 0.5584. Once the dollar has lost 6% of its value 10 times, every dollar received is only worth 55.84 cents in today's purchasing power. $800,000 multiplied by the table factor of 0.5584, the present value of $800,000 is $446,720. To calculate the present value of our series of cash flows, the annuity, we go to the present value of an ordinary annuity table, and we look up the same factors. We go to the intersection of the semi-annual market rate, 6%, and n equals 10, 7.3601. This factor can be viewed as the number of equivalent payments. Even though we're going to be making 10 payments of $40,000, in today's purchasing power, it's the equivalent of making 7.3601 payments of $40,000. 10 payments of $40,000 spread out over time is the equivalent of 7.3601 payments of $40,000 today. The present value is $294,404. These bonds will sell for $741,124. This amount is consistent with our prediction that the bonds will sell at a discount. Number 5. Prepare the journal entry to record the bonds issuance. Debit cash for the amount received, 741124 Debit discount on bonds payable for the amount of the discount, 58876 And credit bonds payable for $800,000.